So I'm happy to be back with another measured mile update and I'm really, really pleased to say that it does appear to be working. This latest measure mile check that I did at the end of January shows that my average pace is almost down to the 13 and a half minute mile pace that I was doing previously before I started um, this training. On previous training walks my average pace was 13 and a half minutes and yet when I started the heart rate training it did increase um, so I was actually doing it approximately two minutes a mile slower so to see on this latest measured mile check that my pace is increasing and yet I'm not going over the 142 maximum heart rate um, which is my maximum for this um, heart rate training it's brilliant it does show that I am building a nice aerobic base and hopefully if I continue this way I'll continue to see um, the rewards um, and my pace will steadily start to increase whilst not going over my maximum heart rate so it is paying off I am still enjoying it and I will continue to do it over the coming months as well as building my aerobic base there are other advantages um, to doing the heart rate training which I'm still seeing and still benefiting from. The first major one for me is that I'm not feeling the usual aches and pains in my legs that I would feel following training walks. So for example last year following the training walks I did find that I would have to do a lot of stretching otherwise I would start to feel niggles in my thighs, the backs of my thighs, the sides of my thighs. Now in doing this heart rate training and in starting off and doing a proper warm up and a proper cool cool down I'm not feeling any of those niggles that I felt before so that is a definite plus because um, it does play on your confidence when you do feel these niggles and these aches and pains because you do then wonder if I'm feeling these aches and pains after nine miles how am I going to go on and do the 85 miles so it has helped me massively in actually doing a proper warm up and cool down um, for each training walk the other thing that it seems to have helped with is the recovery so previously I would get home, I would sit down and I would stiffen up whereas actually doing this heart rate training, yes I do still feel like I've had a, a workout um, at the end of the, well I'm doing it at the moment between 9 and, and 14 miles. So at the end of the training walk I can feel that I've done those 8 to 14 miles. However previously I would massively stiffen up whereas doing it um, how I have with the heart rate training, having the proper warm up, the proper cool down during the training walks and steadily building up my aerobic base, it has helped with the recovery time. As well as the training out on the road with the heart rate training, I will be um, improving my diet even further with the low carb, high fat, high protein way of eating. So that's something I'm looking forward to, looking forward to seeing how that impacts the training and the results that I gain um, from doing that. So I do plan to be consistent, I do plan to carry on this heart rate training and I'll share with you the results over the coming months. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.